It's a randomized phase two trial to answer a hypothesis that uh, mechanisms of estrogen resistance really in part uh, are uh, go through the HER2 pathway. So the hypothesis is by uh, dual blockade of the HER2 pathway in the estrogen positive, HER2 positive population. Perhaps that would be better than uh, just trastuzumab alone. So some of these, most of these patients receive some form of chemo, which is the standard of care. So either a taxane, either docetaxel or paclitaxel. Uh, but not all of them receive chemo. So what was interesting is that there was a subset of patients that just received no chemo. They received antibody and and aromatase inhibitor alone, and the progression-free survival in that, even though being a small study, was around 21 months with the addition of pertuzumab. So I think that the clinical relevance is that in some patients who fit this population, who are HER2 positive, estrogen positive, who aren't good candidates for chemotherapy, that you have confidence, at least from this small study, that, that uh, with dual uh, HER2 blockade and an aromatase inhibitor, you, you can expect a progression-free survival in upwards of 20 months.